What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again with another painful experience and shout out to Karma with that amazing intro. That is going to be the intro going forward for painful experience. It won't be my regular one so I just wanted to say shout out to him for that and also the other uh, Mitski uh, showcase uh, intro that he did so my boy Karma always coming through. Um, now guys we're going to be focusing today on Abyss. Now I know I made a guide for level 20 to 30 on my Painblade account. I did complete 40. I, I was recording and all of a sudden I realized it wasn't actually recording so I do have the screenshot I'm going to show you guys right here that I did clear it but I will send you to Blue's uh, actual guide he has one as well too without any sound so it's just peace and quiet you guys can watch that video as well too and he shows you how to do it um, if you have any questions in terms of how to be 40 and what I use I can definitely answer that in the comment section but for new players I wanted to create a guide here from from my free to play account painful experience and go from 1 to 20 and maybe further if we can okay so I'm gonna show you guys what I did how I built my team etc so I have not done any of these matches yet nor do I have Mitsuki or do I have a Richimaru. So this is strictly guys going to be for the use of resources. I care about resources not right now more than those fragments because I want to raise my level of my characters up without having to struggle, right? So first thing I'm going to do is go to B2 here. I'm going to show you guys my team. So the actual tribe I'm using here is with Sai, um, Sakura, and Naruto. It's called Comrades. And this one actually boosts your attack for the three-man cell uh, by this percentage here. Increases Chakra and also recovers allies HP by based on the attack. Now because it does stack here, um, well, sorry, it does have the attack, your HP uh, recovery will be a lot higher. The, uh, because of that percentage there so it's really good to keep your team alive and because I'm not using URs on this account it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to use good tribes and this is one of the better ones out there so the Yamato one works really well too if you don't have Sai uh, so you can do Naruto, Sakura, Yamato and there are a few others I can go through with you guys some other time but that's what I'm using so my spirit team also gonna have a healer with Mama Sakura and a stunner uh, Rene to, to kill off with AoE and confuse and then lastly Conqueror if anyone's left alive to do uh, damage uh, reduction rate by quite a bit actually you know what I'm actually switch those two guys up because I, I'd rather have the damage reduction rate from him than Rene even though he does it as well and then energy team is going to be Toby for stuns uh, burns and damage reduction rate on on D units uh, Kiba for instant jitsu and Choji for tribe gauge okay so let's go ahead and jump into here and I'm going to show you guys how, how well I do and this is what you guys can mimic as brand new players I'm not as you can see here I haven't spent anything here this is all strictly just base uh, characters that anybody can get um, except Rene if you don't have him because you didn't log on on time uh, that'll be the only character you might have missed but he is replaceable even though he's probably the best character on my roster so let's just go speed this up and we'll go through this real quick. Now here's the thing guys, if you have Mama Sakura, the way her healing works is you have to keep her in the lineup for her heals to continue going. So I'm gonna try to keep her in as long as I can, uh, just to watch, to show you guys that the heals go. And then once I use her, you'll see that the heals are gone, okay? So let's just go through this quick. So here she's gonna heal everybody again. There you are. So we'll use her this time. I'm probably gonna end up killing everybody, but yeah, that's, that's how that works. Her heals only happen when she's actually in rotation. When she's out of rotation, she no longer will heal everybody, so keep that in mind, okay? If you want any, if you need a healer, she's a great backup healer, but she's never going to be a main healer. All right, so let's go ahead and open these chests. Go ahead and get those. Now, you're going to get an abundance of green pots, guys. Uh, those green pots should never be used to actually level your character. You should focus on selling those for 100 uh, Ryo each, and they do add up quite a bit because they give you like eight or 9,000 a day. Uh, so definitely use that for Ryo purposes, okay? So we're going to kill these guys off with Toby. And we'll make this go a little quicker because of that. There we go. And then here, I'm not even going to bother using um, my Jitsu. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to use that. There we go. Let's finish them off with this. There you are. So these first 10 levels, very straightforward, guys. Anybody can beat them. Uh, they're, they're meant to be like a, a, star, a starter tutorial, essentially, for what to expect in the, in the later ones. See, there's a thousand right there. So don't use those. Sell those guys. Okay, and then we'll go B6 here. And tribes are great, guys. So for beginners especially, try to use any tribe that will give you uh, a lot of defense or healing. Uh, if you don't have a main healer in your squad, they will do a lot for you in the long run, okay? So here we're going to go ahead and kill... Actually, we'll kill uh, Naruto and most likely whoever else Choji doesn't hit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and right here, guys, you want to save your tribe gauge for when it's useful. Like, don't don't go ahead and use it at any time. 
just because you have it, right? Uh, because as you progress through the stages, you're gonna need to build your tribe gauge, and tribe gauge in Abyss is almost key because it ends up actually killing the opponent uh, for you a lot of the time uh, with one shots if you use the proper tribe. So don't just willy nilly just use it whenever. Like strategically think about where you're going. Uh, remember, you can always reset the game by refreshing the game, or on your mobile app, you can close the game before the battle is done, and it'll start you right from scratch like nothing ever happened. It's almost like a time, uh, you know, like we're going back in time essentially. So definitely, um, you take that and use it to your advantage um, a lot of us like even higher end players we have to do that quite a bit on the higher stages just reset and, and you know learn the strategy see see what it, see what the opponents are doing and sometimes it's just a matter of getting lucky right so here I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Mama Sakura here hopefully we can stun or kill some of these units there we go one down and Baruto hits pretty hard on T unit, so that, that was a pretty big hit. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use my tribe here, guys. And I'll show you guys the damage that it does. Um, let's go ahead and kill Sarada. So you guys can kind of see what it's all about. Now, I haven't EX'd it yet. I'm, I'm two orbs away. EX is essentially you moving up to the next stage. There's a brand new animation. There you go. Four million. And that would have healed everybody as well, which is great. And now those guys are hitting by 52% harder now than they were before in terms of attack power. So that's kind of the goal there. Uh, here we can go ahead and use Toby. And I've actually turned off animations. If you guys, uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll go turn animations back on. For some of the new players, you probably want to see what these tribes look like, right? I mean, they're all, they are available online, but I'll go back here and quickly turn these animations on. So remember, it's every second level you get rewards. And, and then, so we're on 10 now. We're at the halfway mark. And before we continue, I'll go ahead and do this for you guys. Uh, let's just at least put the tribe's special ninjutsus on, okay? We'll do that. So let's go back into here. So now we're on 10. You're now actually going to fight the two units that are the featured units. In this case, it's Mitsuki and Richimaru. Uh, maybe not Richimaru. Maybe just Mitsuki. Yeah, okay, just Mitsuki. Sorry. Richimaru probably will come up short uh, shortly later on. Okay, so to build up tribe gauge first, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use Choji. That'll give me a couple extra tribe gauges. There we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. I'm sure everyone's seen this. He's been around for a very long time. Okay. Here I'll heal with Mama Sakura and with uh, Sakura here, regular Sakura. Go ahead and do this. AoE attack. Hopefully we get a stun off. No stun. That's okay. And we have one, two, three. So we're gonna go ahead and kill off Mitsuki first, and we'll do we'll do this to get damage reduction rate. Hopefully he kills him. Conqueror's damage reduction rate is massive for two turns, guys. So definitely a great unit to have, especially as a brand new player, because you can actually get him to uh, seven stars really, really quickly uh, by doing Ryo summons. Especially if you were part of the Rin Festival and you were, you know, you were getting that abundance of Ryo, uh, the Rin A Festival would have helped you do Ryo summons, and you should have been able to max out that character fairly quickly. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and do. Try to do this. Maybe it'll be enough. I don't really want to use my Jitsu, and that's okay if I get hit with this. There we go. Good. Okay, there goes ten. All right, guys, pretty straightforward here. There we are another box and I'm hoping to get a couple more SR frags I think I'm like seven away from getting side uh, to uh, five star and then I'm on to the journey of six six is the most important with LB2 so you definitely want to get that all right guys sorry let me turn my phone down here so it doesn't have random noises happening okay so the three of these guys uh, you know what we can probably start with Toby here might be able to at least stun a few or take out a few okay there's a couple some good damage there all right, get a heal here, and we'll kill off. Uh, we'll try to kill off heavy here. He should be the main target out of all of these guys. And again, while I'm doing this, guys, I will put up the target order for brand new players so you know who to attack first. Oh, there's a stun there. That sucks. And we'll try to kill off uh, Kabuto here real quick before he gets a chance to do his special. Rene should be able to do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got two units here that are pretty much ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know what? We'll, we'll I'll show you my tribe here and what it does. 
So we'll do it on heavy. Even though it's a T unit, I should have probably hit uh, a Richard Maru, but heavy's a way, way uh, harder target to kill, and he's he's the feature target in this stage, so he's gonna have a little more stats and health. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and kill him first. There we go. And that not too bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use Choji. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna use Conqueror here. And we'll use the three of them after to build our tribe gauge as well as get our special. So I'm actually not going to use Kibas or um, or Tobis. We're just going to focus on using uh, Choji's just to get the tribe up. There we go. So we'll do this. And that should allow the next group to come in and take him out. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need the second group. Easy enough. Okay guys, on to the next one. And I'm hoping this guide helps new players. Like a lot of new players are probably con concerned about like what, what team should I use? Like what do I bring to Abyss? It's, it's, it's pretty daunting when you're brand new because there's so much going on. Uh, and there's so many different floors, right? So the, the two major things I will tell you is bring in a good tribe. Uh, set up your teams properly to have good AoE, good heals, and good tanking. Um, and good debuffs and buffs, obviously. Uh, and then you're, and I always have a cleanup crew. So a cleanup crew essentially is people that um, you bring in if you can't finish specific content because you're, you know, you just you're fighting uh, an opponent that's too tough for you, or um, you're close to finishing it, but you don't, you know, you, you just miss the miss the mark. Cleanup crews are always fantastic and they're practically essential. Uh, so you almost need to always bring somebody in to finish off content in Abyss, especially when you get to the later stages. So keep that in mind, guys. Don't always focus on main nine build up a few other units for yourself because it will help you in the long run okay and that's that's what i meant by rena he's he's massive in this like he does so much freaking damage because he's a power group character um so keep that in mind if you have him you want to definitely build him especially if you're brand new he's gonna he's gonna do wonders for you guys in terms of every piece of content whether it's uh, fg abyss pvp you name it he's one of the best players in the, in the in the game and he was free to play so awesome to have him Okay, so that's not a good thing to have happen there. So we're going to actually jump on and one-shot uh, Donzo here. He's actually a bigger threat than anybody else there. So we're going to use our tribe. And watch the heals, guys, okay? So I'm going to slow this down a little bit for you. We should be able to one-shot Donzo with this. There we go. And so I went back up and heals. And when Pepper went right back down. Um, and that's what I mean. Like, see, those are the kind of situations where you don't want to have just one character to rely on, right? So that that's what I was referring to when I said uh, build multiple characters. Because if Psy dies here, um, I could either reset if I wanted to, which is ideally what I, what I would normally do when I'm not recording. Or I'll let this, let this happen and then I'll bring in a secondary tribe. Uh, so... There are a couple other tribes you can use as well too, like so Rene and Sakura actually have one that heals and does pretty good debuffs on the opponent, so that's available to you as well too. Okay, so Chio is going to go ahead and do her special, unless I can stun here. No stun, that's okay, attack down at least. Alright, so now I can build up tribe gauge a little quicker, I'm going to go ahead and kill Sai. We won't use Toby's, we'll save that for later. So this will build up tribe gauge again. This will max out my tribe gauge actually, and this should kill this should kill Sai. There you are. Okay, perfect. Now I'm not gonna use my tribe hero, obviously. I wanna save it. Um, does he have his S2? Nope. So we'll use Sakura's uh, normal heal jutsu here. Which will give me defense up as well, which is gonna be great. There we go, so size back up a little bit again, and that gives me chakra, and this should kill and give me chakra. So we're good. We're, we're, we're done, essentially. So move on to the next one, guys. So we're on B16, we're four away from our from or our, well, we're technically two away from our mark. And there you are, now you're starting to get UR fragments, guys. For those who are gonna use URs, that's what you're aiming for. Um, we're gonna continue with the same team. And I could definitely start off with the tribe right now and finish off A, which I'm going to do actually. He is probably the biggest threat in this little team. Let's see, should probably target him first. So make sure you're targeting, guys. That's the most important thing right there. Okay. Let's kill him off. The reason why I attack him is he does buffs to all A units, plus he has a stun, and that stun is actually really annoying. So we're going to finish him off here. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and use Toby 
to do a little bit of damage. Uh, and then we're going to get the three of them to finish off what remains, okay? So, uh, maybe not what remains, but close enough to it at least. So, get a couple stuns, no stuns, okay, no worries. Oh, they kill Sakura. Damn, that was quick. That was quick. All right. All good, though. So, here we're going to kill off, uh, let's kill off Zabuza here. And then Rene should be able to do a lot of damage. That's okay, Mama Sakura is replaceable, so I'm not too worried. As long as my tribe stays alive, the rest of it's fairly replaceable, guys. There you go. Huge damage. Huge! Okay, so let's see if I can kill off uh, B without him getting his special off. He might actually kill somebody with his special, so... This is the ideal... Or not the ideal situation to be in. Hopefully it's not Sai. That's the main thing. Ah, so close. And of course it's going to be Sai most likely. Oh, look at that. So, so close. Okay. Well, at least... Um, I'm going to save Sai's special here. Okay, so we're going to throw in Blossom now in, instead of uh, Mama Sakura for another tribe. Or actually, you know what? No, I'll throw in Baruto. Baruto's probably a better choice for just for damage dealing. All right, guys, so there's 16 done. 17 reward. There we go, getting my Omni Frags. Oh, sorry, my, uh, my UR Frags and my SR Frags. <laughs> UR Frags are useless for this account, but we're going to still collect them. Uh, so we're good here. Baruto's already in. Excellent. Okay. So we don't have the tribe special just... Oh, we do have tribe special. Good. So we're going to kill off... We're actually going to save it for SMJ on his next rotation. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and toss in a heal. Just to help some people get their HP back. There we are. And everybody gets defense up there. Now here I'm going to go ahead and attack with... Uh, I'm going to attack with Naruto, actually. I'm going to kill off Shika. The reason why I'm attacking with Naruto Rin is because he actually has um, a really good S2, which does a ton of damage. And here we're going to go ahead and kill SMJ. So this is the guy I was waiting for to come into rotation. He is too deadly to keep alive. Does way too much for his team. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Remember, tribes have a have a, ra a rarity. Oh, not rarity. Sorry. A type as well. So this is a T-tribe, and you want to use it against D units, right? So right, realistically, this should be able to one-shot him as well. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now this squad here uh, will do. Go ahead and do this. Should be able to kill most of them here. There we go. Easy enough. And now we've got two units that we can use. To do some damage so let's do this here and let's see if we can kill off at least two two guys here so we don't have to suffer too much damage from them there we go maybe guy no so guy stayed alive that's okay naruto may kill somebody yeah i figured he nukes uh he nukes d units so pretty makes sense that he just killed somebody there all right so for this one here i'm actually going to focus on killing off kakashi I don't want that stun in my in my life right now, so let's get rid of that real quick. Oh, close. Okay. Well. Oh, a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay. So now I could save my tribe where I could use it. I'm going to go ahead and use it and kill off Nart. Actually, you know what? They're going to use guys, so I'm going to do this real quick first. And uh, I probably don't need my tribe to finish it off, but I might just use it just to give some some folks some heals here. Yeah, I might just use it here because you can see my, my health is pretty low. Uh, I guess I could use Sakura as well too. So, hmm. Yeah, let's let's just do normal for now, and then maybe I'll do tribe the next round just to give everyone some, some healing back at least. But this is pretty much it, guys. We're going to hit floor 20 from this right here. There we go. And if you guys want, we'll try 22 as well. See how far we get with it, right? And there's a 20 or 19 rewards, I should say. There we are. And here's 20. All right, so we made it to the floor that we wanted to make. Let's see if we can actually finish it now. So 1010 is a great addition there. That's fine. Um, I've got a lot of other units I've built up. So if anything, you know, if anybody dies here, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's go with. Hmm. Let's go with her for now. 
I just want the extra heals, just in case I need it. You never know. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and kill uh, Richamaru. I don't want those debuffs around. He may not be good when we use him, but I can tell you now, when the NPC uses him, whole different story. He's actually pretty darn good. And it always, I always hate that it translates that way. Hopefully this kills him. There we go, perfect. Oh, Sakura's almost dead. Yikes. It's a lot of damage. Okay, so we'll use 1010 here to do... Uh, yeah, we'll do, t we'll do guard suppression here so we can stop some of these guards from coming in. And then right now we'll do a stun with Toby. And I'm going to focus on killing off Mitski. Mitski's my next target, guys, by the way. If you're wondering where he should be going in terms of targeting, uh, Mitski or Richimaru, first two for sure. Uh, Baruto, Sarada. Sarada next for sure. And then Baruto, and then uh, Jugo and Sugetsu, and then leave Karin to last. Unless, again, like I mentioned to you guys before, if you guys are having a hard time killing, um, killing units that are healers, uh, then you can actually switch it up and focus on killing healers first, because sometimes they will out-heal you based on where you are in the abyss right so here you see i have no problem so i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna leave him for last so rene here and conqueror should be able to kill them off i'm actually gonna focus on mitski here guys see if i can kill him and if it doesn't i have the the three others coming up shortly so i should be able to finish it off no matter what hopefully rene will be able to do it okay so mitski's alive that's okay again that's that, that was the whole point to see if i could do it or not uh, here, we, there's two of them. They're going to go next for sure. So we're going to actually go ahead and kill off Mitski anyways. And then we'll target these guys and finish it off. The reason why I want to kill Mitski over those two guys, tanks tanks don't hit hard, right? It's it's the stun that I'm worried about and everything else that, that he brings to uh, to their team. So now i got defense up. This should hit like peanuts practically. Oh, there we go. Kill Sai though. Okay, so my tribe is gone now, guys. So at this point... Uh, you've got co-op, right? So you can either, this is how you gauge it. You can either do your special and finish this off, um, or you can um, save it for your cleanup crew. So right now I have enough here to, to finish this off. I'm going to save it for the the blue team to come in and finish it, but my tribe is already done. Okay, so so get to got all those things back. Uh, so they're actually going to go ahead and do their co-op now. I'm going to try to finish off see if I can finish off Jugo and if not I've got my next team coming in and it's it's 100% a win perfect good stun so no no heal there okay so yeah this is this will be this won't be a problem somebody might die but it's, it's not a big deal even if I lose Toby okay and we can go ahead and finish this off now guys so what I'll do actually is I'll go ahead and hit uh, Hit Corinne with Conqueror because she's a T unit, so he should be able to to finish her off with this, and then everybody will get damage rate reduction down on the opponent side, and then Rene should be able to one shot or close to it at least both of the other two. There we go. Boom. Oh, almost dead. Okay, so this is ending it right here. There we go. All right, guys, that was floor 20. We moved on to 22. You're, once you do that, guys, congratulations. You're gonna start seeing uh, some some alarms coming up. Uh, after after you've done 21 right here uh, and you start getting the king size frogs and there you are now you're, now you're starting to hit the harder content right so i'll stop here you guys can see the rest of the guide on the pain blade side uh, for now this is it for me for today i uh, hope you enjoyed it i hope this guide helped if you have any questions as new players guys there's a new player guide out on my channel i have a ton of new player guides in general for how to raise speed how to do sp uh, specific content what kind of teams you should be using training gems etc check it out it is really helpful it's under the players uh playlist guide uh so the nxb uh uh, got a playlist guide i think it's called so you can check it out there all of them are available to you you can go from descending order uh you know ascending order whichever way you want but definitely if you want to get a leg up on the game that's the way to start all right guys again this has been a painful experience enjoy the rest of your day